Hello, lovies. This is Miss T coming at you with another blog. I want to share with you about choosing your mala. I'm going to read something off my favorite uh, blog, as well as my website. Uh, my favorite website uh, is Mala Prayer. They have some beautiful, beautiful malas. And if anybody that's in the yoga world or in the meditation world, they know exactly what I'm talking about. These are malas right here. And I'll show you. I will show um, tell you more. But I got some I want to read, read to you. Anyway, the name of this is Choosing Your Mala. Choosing the right mala can seem daunting. I'm reading this out the blog. Choosing the right mala can be daunting. It's important that you remember that depending on the person, a mala can represent something different or serves a different purpose. No two models are the same, whether it serves as something to inspire you, as a reminder of your intentions, or a tool for meditation. It's unique and specific to you. Now that is very important. It's unique and specific to you, okay? There's no right or wrong way to choose a model. While some believe that you should study and consider, the, consider your color, shape, intention, energy and beauty of each mala we believe that your intentions will guide you you might be drawn to different models for different reasons whichever mala you are first drawn to is often the one that you are destined to have regardless of whether you are drawn to it by something as simple as color or stone we suggest you follow your heart and allow it to happen now this was my first one this is called the name N A. N-A-I-N. This is called name. Isn't that pretty? And it's 108 beads. 108 beads. It's beautiful. These are called mala necklaces. They also got mala bracelets. Uh, they have mala uh, necklaces. Okay, let me keep, keep reading. Once you feel you have chosen your mala, we recommend doing some research and learning about about the intention and meaning of your chosen mala. You might be pleasantly surprised more often than not it will be exactly what you're looking for that in that moment. Your intentions help guide let your intentions help guide you guide you there. Okay, so okay here's so here's some questions for you. Um, when buying your mala what are you what are you looking for is it you trying to manifest something are you looking to cultivate more strength more love more truth will you be meditating or manifesting or both mine is all of the all of the above but anyway let me take you through the name my very first mala let me take you through now the name, the N-A-I-N, is called name. This represent uh, uh, this represents uh, spiritual nourishment, uh, telepathy, clairvoyance, telepathy. Uh, my main thing is the spiritual nourishment. This necklace will. Um, it's just it's just a beautiful piece. It, it is. I really, I really like this one, and uh, I get a lot of compliments on this on this one. I really do. And you know, when I go when I activate my models, I go to a, a somewhere around the house, and I just pray. I just pray, and um, I hold my models in my hand like this. Uh, and I get on that a little bit later, because um, this this video is about choosing the mala, choosing the right, choosing the right mala. Anyway, I get on that a bit later. And then my next mala that I had um, purchased, and um, okay, was a, called the Zusma. Z Z U S M A. Now that is this one right here. Now, isn't that pretty? That is a pretty. That is so pretty. And this is mixed with blood, uh, African bloodstones. That right here, the African bloodstones. Now, 
Now that mala, I act that mala, that that Pacific mala is for encouragement and calming and calming the mind. When I meditate, I like to I wear that one. It's for encouraging and calming the mind. That's the one I uh, use that one for. And that's a must-have if you want to um if you want to malas. Now my next one. Now this one, this one is called Naughty. This is called the Naughty. Now look at that. Look at that booty, y'all. Look at that. Pretty. Look at that. Ain't that pretty? I just love this model. I just do. Look at that. Look at that. Then my favorite feature of this model is of course this little Buddha that is so cute and I love it has it's it is natural you can um, I just love this Buddha I mean the Buddha the and that one I love all of them honestly I really do um, and that that particular one is called the Akala Wait a minute. nope nope I'm wrong that's not it is that the one with the booty ass? Okay. That's called Naughty. I'm sorry. And this is mixed with wood grain. Real wood grain. And turquoise. It has it's, it has an earthy look to it. And I like that. That's what I really, really like. Now the turquoise is believed to be a great for exhaustion, depression, and panic attacks. Providing solace for your spirit and well-being for your body. Isn't that lovely? You just, I mean, I just, I just love this stuff. And then, the Akala, which is this one. Let me show you. Now, this is not, this is not a real horn, y'all. This is plastic, so they're not going out killing animals. Look at that. Ain't that pretty? Let me read about that one. That's called the Akala. Now this hold a connection to the earth. This is an ox horn, but like I say, this is not a real ox horn. And um, this is this is real lambskin, I think. No, no, it's not. This is not a little real. I can feel it. And I can tell. It's not real lambskin, but uh, it, this is believed for uh, to protect and nurture. And I and I when I activated this mala, it's um, I ask for comfort and alleviate fear. That's what I asked for when I activated this model. This is not real lambskin. I can feel it. And like I said, this horn is not real. This is plastic, y'all. Okay. For all the animal lovers out there, I do understand. This is not a real horn, and it's not real leather. But anyway, I'm a post. I don't want to take up too much of y'all time. Um, this is this is some of my models. I'll do another video on some more. Um, but I was post the link of where I receive, where I get all my models at, and it's called Mala Prayer. They have, and I, I'm not getting paid to do this, too, by the way. It's, it's not about, I just want to share with you all, um, what I enjoy doing. And, um, uh, and Mala's is one thing I enjoy buying, and, um, I like to activate my Mala's, and, um, uh, like I say, every Mala is different for each individual and um uh i'm really not i'm not trying to promote them or anything like that i just that's why i buy my malas you know and i want to share why uh, why i purchase my malas from but anywho i want to say namaste and thank you for watching